So the benefits of topical flozin were identical in patients with and without diabetes and even more so among the patients without diabetes the benefits of topical flozin were consistent right across the spectrum of glycated haemoglobin so even patients with a completely normal haemoglobin A1c got as much benefit as other patients and clearly that questions the idea that in heart failure this is just about lowering glucose and in fact the patients without diabetes randomized to dapagliflozin had no reduction in haemoglobin A1c either again questioning the benefits in heart failure just being about reducing glucose so the alternative possibilities are that these agents do have at least in the short term a diuretic effect that might be beneficial but it's unlikely to be the whole explanation these drugs do protect the kidneys do slow the progressive deterioration in renal function that we see in patients with heart failure and we've reported that with dapagliflozin both in patients with and without diabetes and then I think the third idea at least is that these drugs might have beneficial effects on the heart. Now these are largely still in human beings hypotheses but probably the two major ones are firstly that these drugs might improve myocardial energetics, make the heart more metabolically efficient and in that way work better. One reason why that might be is because they increase the production of ketones and you can think of ketones in a very simplistic way as a super fuel for the heart that are more metabolically efficient and then the other explanation but again very hypothetical and experimental is that SGLT2 inhibitors might interact with what's called the sodium hydrogen exchanger on heart muscle cells cardiomyocytes and by reducing intracellular sodium might for example reduce the risk of sudden death but we don't have any firm human evidence for that it's a speculative mechanism